Today I plan to do some furniture makeovers, can't wait. I still need two tables, a coffee bar, and bar stools for the one cottage. I have the bar stools for the other one, but they need to be painted. They weren't the right color. So let's get to work on these pieces and enjoy. I do believe I have some of the things I need in my stash here in the shop, so I'll dig that out first. I'll put all my pieces together, see what I have, and if anything needs painted, I can paint everything at once. And something else I do need are chairs. I need four chairs then for the one table. I didn't mention that earlier, but um, I think I have some back here that are bright red. I had picked them up in a garage sale, and I think I'm going to go ahead and just use these, uh, paint them. I think the style, like the, the industrial kind of farmhouse style of them will go well with the cottage I plan to put them in. We did end up ordering some wooden tabletops from an Amish guy that has a wood shop. Ordered the glue ups and we'll just have to cut those down to the right size. And for one of the tables, I do have a base for it. This is a table I had picked up in a thrift store for I think 10 or $15. Not really liking the top of it, always hung on to it because I thought eventually I may want to use it for the base. I thought the base is kind of pretty. And for my coffee bar, this is sort of a long story here, but uh, this is a piece that I had picked up from a friend. My friend Linda had given it to me years ago. She didn't even want anything for it. I think it was just something she had setting around. And I'll try to dig out some old pictures of it. It has gotten quite a few makeovers over the years. I'll probably just keep it white and then add a wooden top and it will serve as a coffee bar for Apple Blossom or Cottage 2 as we call it. The bar stools we had gotten from Wayfair, they actually sit really well, like they're comfortable enough, but the color just did not really go with, again, Cottage 2 is where I want to put them. When I saw them online, I thought the color was so pretty, but again, just not really matching with everything else in there. So I think I'll just go ahead and paint them white, but I plan to add some kind of a little decoration or design on the backs of them. I found this table base among my stash, and I'm almost wondering if I could use it for one of the table bases. It is for a rectangle tabletop, and what we have is square, so I'll definitely have to size it down somehow, turn it more into a square base. But I'm going to dig it out, see what I can do. I'm thinking this table base is going to work. All I have to do is just take it apart on the one side, cut these boards off, and move this in to make it more a square frame, if that makes sense. And here are the bar stools I plan to paint. I want to add something, some kind of character on the backs. Here's the little stand I plan to turn into a coffee bar. Um, it looks a bit rough, but I think I should be able to make it pretty. And here is the table I plan to just use the base of. And here are my garage sale find chairs. They're actually brand new, but not the right color. It'll take some painting to get all of these little corners and edges painted, but I think I should be able to do it. I love the idea of not having to just go buy things. I tell you, I'm so tired of buying things these days for those cottages. I really like the idea of just using things I already have on hand, if at all possible. I'll be using my go-to paint, uh, Do It Best brand. Um, it has a satin sheen, and the color is called Winter White. Um, it's actually a different one. I've never really used it before. Often I'll just go for my you know, Ultra White or uh, Spectral, but in this case I had a gallon of this on hand. And it's more of a, it's a little bit of an off-white, not just you know stark white, maybe more of a beige tone. I thought it's really a pretty color of white. The sprayer I'm using, I'll have linked down below in the description box, my favorite paint sprayer. Um, it's not super expensive and it lasts for years and I use it a lot. It's a Dewalt brand. I did have to thin my paint down a bit and in that regard you just have to play around with it 
as far as uh, knowing you know how then to make it for your paint sprayer Using my Silhouette Cameo, I cut out a few designs that I plan to put on the backs of the bar stools. I plan to apply the decal, you know, spray over it, and just hope I can peel it off without taking any paint off with it. And if I mess it up, I can always just paint the back white and then just use a decal for my design if I choose to. But I thought it would be neat to use the actual base color of the chairs. I didn't get a video of all of this, but John ended up putting a few new pieces on here, uh, something a little stronger than, than what was on here uh, to hold the top in place. And I did film, or thought I was filming the process here, but my battery ended up dying for me and it didn't save the video, so I missed out on that part. But as you can see, I started painting it. And you can see the space kind of turned into more of a square shape versus a rectangle. I think it's gonna look pretty cute, actually. Excited to see the top on here with the chairs. So I had a mind change when I came to those red chairs. I'm opting to go with these two dark brown ones that I also had in my furniture stash. What I'll probably do is just get two more of them, also paint them black, or the color I'm going with is called Toasted Poppy Seed. It's not quite, you know, dark black. It's more a charcoal color. You can get them off of Amazon. They're not really that pricey. I think I'll be better off on the long run as far as if anything chips off, I won't have, you know, bright red shining through.
I'll try to leave the link of these beautiful mugs that I got off of Amazon down below in the description box in case you're needing some pretty textured mugs, but uh, these really caught my eye. apply a coat of polyacrylic to these new tabletops. I think they turned out really pretty, uh, nice and smooth. Uh, now the base here, of course, isn't anything fancy. It's pretty rough looking in fact, but I um, kind of like that look sometimes. I think for now it'll do. When applying polyacrylic with a brush, uh, it is kind of tricky at times. Uh, polyacrylic dries fairly soon, so uh, you really can't just you know over brush a lot. So often when I apply it, I try to do it quickly with as less you know, brush strokes as possible. I'm still waiting on two chairs, so I didn't really bother to stage this little table. You guys will get to see it later on once I have everything fixed up, but I'm really liking how it looks. I think it really fits the space. I'll also show you the coffee bar that we have in this cottage. We took an old Singer sewing machine base and added a pretty wood top to it, and this will serve as a coffee bar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really impressed with the pieces that were added to the cottages. I feel like it's just one step further to getting them finished and I like how they turned out. Again, nothing fancy, any of them, but um, I think they'll function in here. Before ending here, I do have some fall products in front of me that we have available on the Etsy shop. In case you missed some of the other videos where I talked about uh, some of the candles and soaps and body butters that we have, um, I don't have any of the amber jar candles with me, but I've showed you guys that before. But I haven't really talked much about the new uh, labels that we have, and then we have these little jars back in stock. I'm so impressed with these. 
Uh, we used to have these before COVID hit and they were hard to find. This has always been a really popular size for us. And then we also have these really cute gold tins uh, for fall. We have the spiced honey and tonka and the pumpkin souffle in those. Uh, those are really pretty and also a nice size. They're just a bit bigger than this four ounce. They're six ounce. And then of course wax melts. Sometimes I neglect to mention wax melts. For myself, honestly, I don't have a wax melt burner. That's probably why I don't talk about them as much, but I know people really like them. I get a lot of messages of people saying they uh, really, you know, you smell it throughout their home, probably just similar to these candles. And of course, as I often say about these candles, Amy does such a wonderful job with them. 100% natural soy wax, and they're just a, a good candle to burn if you're looking for a clean burn. And then these body butters, I love my body butter, could not be without it. I've talked about this before. Um, it is really greasy. I do wanna always like to mention that. It's probably not something you wanna put on your face in the morning and walk around you know, with a greasy face, but I often use it in the evening. Um, I love it for myself after I have you know, shaved my legs. It's just such a good moisturizing product to use. I use it in the morning and the evening on my legs. And then also for dry skin, especially during the winter months, which that's coming up. And then of course our homemade soap. Uh, we do have some new scents in stock. Not very many, I probably shouldn't even mention it here in the video, but we do have a new one. It's a blackberry and amber, it smells so good. It has that romantic kind of wintry, cozy smell to it. And we still have some of the Bartlett pear, also like that one. I had in fact been using one of those recently in the shower. And the green tea and aloe, we've had that one before, but that's been a really popular scent. And some of those soaps are seconds. Sometimes if they have a decent amount of glycerin rivers or uh, just didn't quite turn out, like the color wasn't quite like it was supposed to be, we just run them as seconds. They still function the same. Uh, they'll get you clean and smelling good, but just don't look quite as pretty. So make sure to check out those products if you're at all in need of something for yourself or maybe a gift for someone. And we do have some more fall products that I don't have in front of me here, but just check them out on my shop if you're wanting some uh, new decorations for your home. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.